So when you see a model like this, you probably think, wow, that part is crazy looking. That must have taken a lot of complicated and intricate 3D sketching and a crazy sweep and lots of just, you know, weird geometry, probably a nightmare to update this part if the customer asks for any changes. But the truth is this part is actually really simple if you learn about multi-body design in SolidWorks. And this is a topic that we cover in an upcoming training class. We're gonna be holding this class later this month. It's called Toby's SW Advanced Part Design. It's a two day long class. So you get to spend two days with a certified expert instructor, me. We get to ask questions and have discussions back and forth. You get to build these parts right along with me. And uh, this is a live class with an instructor that is held around the world via web meetings. So if you're interested in registering for this class, you can visit us at tutaltobycom slash training, and you can sign up for that upcoming class later this month. So what is the trick behind creating a model like this and making it easy and manageable? Well, the trick is to learn how multi-body design works in SolidWorks. So let me do a little bit of undo here. Maybe you'll have a little preview here of what to expect from this design. And we can see here that this design started out, this model started out pretty simple, uh, just a simple rectangular brick, a couple of steps cut into it, and then some fillets applied to those steps. And at the bottom of the tree here, we can see that we have what's called a sweep profile. So just a circle with a diameter of three millimeters. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some draft to this model. So I'm gonna click on this lower face here and I'm gonna say, I wanna apply some draft 10 millimeters and I'll add that to all three sides here. Okay, the model's getting a little bit more complicated. Now we're going to add some fillets to this thing. So I'm gonna add kind of a larger fillet out front here, maybe like 18 millimeters. And then I'm gonna add a smaller fillet down here on these two corners. So a smaller fillet down here, maybe we'll make these eight millimeters. All right, and that is looking pretty darn good. So here I'm gonna go into the sweep command. I'm gonna choose my sweep profile, this circle, and then I'm gonna right mouse button in this box here for the path. I'm gonna right mouse button and choose selection manager. Now what selection manager lets you do is it lets you pick, let's say one, two, three, four edges from the model without needing to go and make a 3D sketch and converting those edges into a 3D sketch. So now we can see that our sweep is running right along that edge and that looks okay. Not exactly what we wanted, but it looks okay. Let me control Z to undo there. So let's try this again. We're gonna do a sweep here. And instead of just choosing those one, two, three, four edges using the selection manager, so right mouse button, selection manager, I'm gonna pick this first edge here and then I'm gonna use this tangent propagation option. And that basically does a select tangency. It runs all the way around. It picks all of those edges. And when I hit the, the smaller green check mark here in the selection manager, all of those edges are grouped together in an open group and then added here to the selection manager. So now we can see that we are sweeping along that entire path. And when we're done with that sweep, what we can do here is we can go into our options and we can say, don't merge the results. And this is really kind of the, the magic bullet in this formula here. And this gets into multi-body design and multi-body management in SolidWorks. If I say don't merge the results here and I hit the green check mark, what I'm left with is one body, which was that original very simple brick with some draft and some fillets, and a second body here, which is the sweep. And when you've got multiple bodies in your tree, you can click on one of those bodies and then press delete on your keyboard. And that's a shortcut for delete slash keep body. So when I press delete on my keyboard, I remove that, uh, that original body, delete that, and there we go. We are left with that seemingly very complicated, very complex wire. Really, we could create all the geometry for that using simple solids to kind of create the outline. And then we can use that geometry to perform a sweep command. And by learning about multi-body, we can learn that we can not merge the results from the sweep and then delete that underlying body. And of course, this is all parametric. So if we needed to make a change, if the customer came in and said, I want that draft to be a little bit less of an angle or a little bit more of an angle, well, we could just make that change here, change that to five degrees. If we wanted to make the height a little bit larger or the height in the steps a little bit larger, we could do all of that just by going back and editing those earlier features. So let's make that 15 per step and there we go. Nice updated crazy bent wire 
uh, much, much easier to do when you learn about multi-body management. So if you want to learn more about multi-bodies, you can join us later this month for Toby's SW Advanced Part Design, www.twotalltoby.com slash training to register for that two-day class. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to come back for some more Power Moves.